Okay, so the question says, a girl on a bicycle accelerates uniformly from wrist and reaches a velocity of 10 meters per second after four seconds. She continues at this speed for another 24 seconds before decelerating uniformly to come to rest in five seconds. And part one of our question says we should sketch a velocity time graph to show the girl's journey. So here I have um, my axis uh, set up for the velocity time graph. And it says in the question that the girl accelerates uniformly uh, to 10 meters per second after four seconds. So if we estimate that this would be our five second point, we can see that the four second point would be about right here. So starting from wrist, she accelerates up to this point here. Right? So we can just connect the points here. So after the first four seconds, she reaches a speed of 10 meters per second. Now she then continues at this speed at 10 meters per second for another 24 seconds. So from here to here would be 24 seconds. So let's say right here. So she maintains her speed. Right, so she maintains her speed of 10 meters per second after for another 28 seconds, and then she decelerates uniformly uh, in five seconds and come to rest. So at this point here, she decelerates. And come to rest. So this would, this would, this would, this would be what the velocity time graph of her journey is. So part two of the question says, what was her so this is part one, and part two of the question says what was her initial acceleration and final deceleration. So we can go to part two, and we want to find her initial acceleration and final deceleration. Now this was the region in which she accelerated, and this is the region in which she decelerated. So we know acceleration is equal to acceleration is equal to delta v over t. And what delta v is is simply the change in velocity. So we can say then that the final velocity, which is this point here, and the initial velocity, which is this point here. So this is our final velocity, so we can call this v and this u. So change in velocity is simply v minus u and we divide that by time t. So working that out we see we have uh, 10 meters per second minus 0 meters per second and that is all divided by 4 seconds. So if we were to calculate that, we would get 2.5 meters per second squared. So that would be our initial velocity in this I mean initial acceleration during this uh, period of the journey. Now what about our deceleration now? We're gonna find the deceleration during this period. And again, we're going to say A for acceleration because deceleration is just negative acceleration, basically. So we can say it, it is acceleration equals to V minus U over T. 
And again, this is our initial velocity in this case, and this is our final velocity in this case. So we can say that this is our u, and this is our v in this case. So v is equal to zero meters per second, and u is our 10 meters per second. And we divide that by the time t, which is five seconds. So we have minus 10 divided by five, minus 10 meters per second divided by five seconds. And that works out to be minus two seconds. So we just confirmed that acceleration in fact is, I mean deceleration in fact is negative acceleration. So let's look at the third part of the question. So the third part of the question asks us to find how far the girl traveled. So for this, we need to refer to the diagram here. So let me get a color for part three. So part three, we're gonna refer to the graph here. Now to find the distance traveled, we simply need to find the area under the velocity time graph. So we have a point A, let's call this point A here, point B, and point C. So let's find the distance travel. So first we need to find the area of this section here, the area of this section, and the area of this section. So let's label the, the points. Or first of all, let me, let me just copy the diagram down so I have, so I have something to, to refer to. All right, so this is the diagram copied down. And we said we are going to find the area of this section here, the area of here, and the area of here. So let's say area of A. And since this is a triangle, we know that the area of a triangle is equal to half base times the height. So the base here would be four seconds and the height 10. So if we now say that half times four seconds multiplied by 10 meters per second that gives us uh, 40 meters divided by 2 which is equal to 20 meters so the area of part, part A is 20 meters so the area of part A is 20 meters so let's find the area of this part here so we're gonna say the area of, of B is equal to, since this is a rectangle, so we know that the area of a rectangle is simply the length times the width. So this is L, so length times width. So the length here would be 10, seconds not 10 i mean 24 seconds right so the length is 24 seconds and the width would be 10 meters per second so that's 10 meters per second and that work out to be 240 meters and the final portion would be for us to find and the final portion would be for us to find the area of of part C which is this so again we can say that the area of C 
is equal to since again it's a triangle we say half base times height so we have half and the base is five seconds so we have five seconds multiplied by the height which is 10 meters per second 10 meters per second so that works out to be 50 divided by 2 which is simply 2 25 meters so adding them, them all up we can say that the distance travel therefore the distance traveled is equal to the area of A so we can say the area of A plus the area of B plus the area of C so that is 20 meters plus 240 meters plus 25 meters and that works out to be 285 meters right so this is how we do a question like this first we first we made our, made our sketch and then we use the sketch to find the acceleration and then we use it to find the distance covered uh, by the, the girl and remember the the area under the velocity time graph is the distance traveled so this was junior roberts from realjuniorroberts.com thank you for watching